Hello, I'm Helen Bradley. Welcome to this video tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can watermark images in Lightroom using an image as a watermark. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can take an image that you've created in a program like Photoshop or Photoshop Elements or any graphic design program and how you can use that in Lightroom. Now I've created mine in Photoshop and I've done it using layers and as you can see here the selected layer is the one that we're viewing and I've got a white background layer at the foot of my image. Now this is fairly critical that you have a transparent image. So when I turn off this background layer, I've got a transparent image. The reason why this is really important is that when I come to Lightroom, I don't want any background to show. So before I save this image, I'm going to make sure that I see this transparency. And then I'm going to go ahead and crop the image and save it. So I'm just going to click on the crop tool here and just go ahead and crop the image. And then I'm going to save it using File, Save As. I'm going to put it in my Pictures folder, but you can put it anywhere that you like. And I'm going to save this as a ping image, PNG, so that we're retaining this transparency. And I'm going to call this HB Black because it's going to help me if I create a white one as well. So I'm just going to click Save. And then I'm going to convert this image to white. And to do that, I'm going to select this layer and press Control or Command I, and that just inverts the layer. I'm going to save it again with File, Save As, and this time in the same place, I'm going to call this one HB White. I suggest that whenever you create your watermarks that you create a white and a dark one just in case you need it. And again, this is going to be a ping file, PNG file. Now I'm done with Photoshop, so I can just close Photoshop down. I'm going to save my basic document so that I have it accessible to me. And I'm going to Lightroom and I'm going to apply the watermark to these images in Lightroom. Now these are already set up for printing, so let's just go to the print module and let's go to the area that we can select a watermark, which is this page area here. And here's my watermarking option. So I'm going to click here to select it. And right now I have no watermarks selected. I want to edit watermarks. And you can do this exact same step wherever you have watermarks accessible to you in Lightroom. So it could be in the export module, could be print, slideshow, wherever you want to use it. And we're going to use a graphic watermark. So I'm going to click here on graphic and you can see that I'm now I'm taken to my basic folder structure where I can select the watermark I want to use. And I'm going to select the white one and click open. And you can see that it's appearing here on the image and I can adjust its size so I can make it the size that I want by just dragging on its handles. It's also possible to locate where I want it to be in the image. It could be in the center or the top or bottom and I can adjust the inset as well. So if I want it in the bottom corner but I want it inset a little bit from the bottom corner, I can do that. And once I've got my watermark set up the way I want it to look, I'm going to click here and I'm going to choose Save Current Settings as New Preset. And this is going to be my HB White 2014 watermark. And I'll click Create. So anytime I want to use that watermark in future, I just select it from the watermark list. So I'll click Done. And here's the watermark list and you can see I have a lot of different watermarks and here's the one that we're using. And this watermark is now going to be applied to all these documents as they're printed. Now in some cases you may find that your images lend themselves to using a black watermark rather than a white, but it's very easy to set up your black watermark in exactly the same way. When I come into Lightroom next time, these watermarks are going to be accessible to me. If I go back to the library and I select to export this image, let's choose export. 
And let's go down to the watermarking area here. Well, I'm going to select to add a watermark and here is my HB white watermark. It's already set up in exactly the position that we set it so we can just click to apply it and then it will be applied to that image as I export it. Of course, it won't be stuck to the original image. This is only to an exported version, which is as it should be because I don't want to put watermarks on my originals. So there's a way that you can create and use image watermarks in Lightroom. I'm Helen Bradley. Thank you for joining me for this video tutorial. Look out for more of my video tutorials here on my YouTube channel. And consider subscribing to my channel and you'll be alerted when new videos are released. And visit my website at projectwoman.com where you'll find more tips, tricks and tutorials on a range of applications including Photoshop, Lightroom, Illustrator and a whole lot more.